Hello, everyone. Welcome to QNAP Live Podcast. I'm Sam, your host for today's topic. And uh, we all know that we have recently launched a lot of new models of the NAS. And uh, the most special thing is we have built in the 10G based T uh, uh, internet port inside of all of our new NAS. So today we have uh, our new spec TSA32X. And the X means we will have a 10G transmission port instead of our NAS. So today we have our Jason. Hi, Sam. Hi, everyone. Welcome, Jason. And Jason will show us very clearly about uh, this new model A32X. Why is it an affordable 10 GB ready NAS? And uh, the most important thing is this NAS has two PCI slots for the expandable functionality. So we will also show you what kind of expansion card we can use with this TSA32X. So let's get into the PowerPoint first and uh, we can check on the title. Okay, it says the TSA32X is an upgrade from A31 and it has a dual design slot for expansion with two of 10 GBE SFP plus port. So uh, we can see the CPU here. So I will uh, leave the rest to Jason and mm -hmm. please show us what's the new about the A32X. Okay, so here, uh, first of all, you will see the mm -hmm. comparison between the QNAP is existing, existing TSA31X okay. and the upcoming TSA32X. Mm -hmm. So the major difference is the upgraded processor. Okay, mm -hmm. here you will see uh, uh, it comes with an ARM V7 uh, Cortex A15 32-bit CPU on the TSA31X. Mm -hmm. But the upcoming model TSA31X has the new ARM V8. Okay. Uh, 64 bit Cortex A57 processor. Mm -hmm. So it's a one major step up. Mm -hmm. okay. And the uh, frequency remains the same as the uh, 1.7 quad core. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 1.7 gigahertz quad core. And here, if you look at a button, the computing power is actually uh, much better. It's almost like a 40% higher. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, on the A31X, it has a 24K DMIPS. Mm -hmm. And then on the, 30, on the A32X, it has a 32K DMIPS. Mm -hmm. So it means. Uh, the DMIPS means uh, how many millions of instructions per second the CPU is capable of. Okay. So it's like a 40% uh, enhancement. Okay. So, and also the memory is also enhanced. So on the A31X model, it's, it supports a DDR3, mm -hmm. whereas uh, on this uh, new A32X supports the faster DDR4 memory. Oh, okay. Cool. And for LAN port, both the models same. With a PCI slot, uh, on the A31X comes with uh, one of the PCI slot, mm -hmm. and with uh, on the A32X comes with a dual PCI slot. Sure. Okay, and with the audio uh, on the A32X, we also put in a speaker and IR, and I'll talk more about it later. Of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here uh, you will see. Let's take a little bit more about the uh, upgraded CPU. So mm -hmm. it is a uh, uh, quad core 64, 64 bit. Cortex um, V8, Cortex A57 from the CPU company called Annapurna, Annapurna Labs. Okay. So it's a, a child company of Amazon. Mm -hmm. So it's, as you know, it's uh, since it's Amazon, so it's got many, many of the R&D power behind it, right? <laughs> yeah. So here, uh, so it's, it is an SOC system on a chip. So it means uh, it has uh, many, many of the incredible input and output on this uh, CPU. So here you will see, for example, 10 GPE, mm -hmm. the dual ports are from the CPU directly, mm -hmm. and then the SATA, SATA ports. Mm -hmm. And also the, it also integrates, integrates many PCI LANs in such a small package. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, also 64 bit, uh, also the SOC also provides the one benefit is energy saving. Mm -hmm. So compared to the very, uh, big and powerful processors like x86 architecture, it actually provides uh, much uh, more energy conservation. Okay. And also, uh, this is a brand new 64 bit uh, instruction set architecture. Mm -hmm. So, here it uses the uh, ARM uh, architecture 64 bit. So, it means uh, all the uh, programs can run more efficiently and also our QTS. Sure. And also, it gets a performance boost. Uh, why is the performance boost? It's because uh, the new ARM V8 has uh, not just uh, a beta floating point computing units, mm -hmm. but also it integrates uh, multiple, like up to 31, 64 bit core registers. Okay. So it can reduce uh, some redundant uh, data access. Mm -hmm. So it can just uh, quickly get the required data and then access to do the computation. Sure. And also it has a more enhanced uh, uh, encryption performance. 
So as you can see here, it comes with uh, 128 uh, SIND registers. So we just sit basically on top of the memory. So it means it got very fast access speed. Okay. And then SIND means a single instruction multiple data. So mm -hmm. this also makes makes it the uh, encryption performance much better on this model. Cool. Okay, so it's like over 400 megabytes per second. Sure. Okay. So after that, let's take a look at the memory. So besides the CPU, there's a memory. Mm -hmm. So compared to the TS-831XDDR3, now this comes with a DDR4 memory. Mm -hmm. And uh, it comes, uh, it has a one memory slot and sorting type. So it's a notebook type of memory. Mm -hmm. So with that, it can support up to uh, 16 gigabyte mm -hmm. of uh, memory uh, allocation. And then we have a uh, two different SKUs available for you to order. Mm -hmm. First one is a TS-832X2G model, okay. so which comes with a one of the two gigabyte memory. Mm -hmm. And then the other model is a 8G mm -hmm. model, comes mm -hmm. with eight gigabyte. Okay. But uh, you can uh, freely upgrade it up to 60 gigabyte with a QNAP uh, supported uh, accessories, okay? And then uh, let's take a look at the front end side here. On the front view, you will see there's a LED uh, mm -hmm. status lights on the top left. Mm -hmm. So you get to know the NAS system status, mm -hmm. okay? And the uh, LAN port, whether it's LAN is uh, connected or disconnected. Mm -hmm. And uh, USB status, status on the USB port. Mm -hmm. You see on the front, there's a USB port there. Mm -hmm. And then the hard drive status is from one to eight. Mm -hmm. So if something goes wrong in the hard drive, uh, not only it will have uh, to notify you through the beep or the voice alert, mm -hmm. but also you can see the hard drive stairs that comes red up okay. here with the light. Okay. And then on the bottom right will be the usual power button, mm -hmm. and then the USB 3.0 port mm -hmm. well, uh, together with a, a one touch copy button. Sure. So with that, uh, you can connect an external USB drive mm -hmm. and then set up the uh, backup job. Uh, in our QTS user interface. So you can set up, for example, when you plug in the USB drive, you will automate, uh, synchronize the data with one of your shared photos on the NAS. Okay. okay. And then let's look at the back side here. So on the back side here, uh, you will see on the top left, there will be two of the four height PCI slots mm -hmm. for you to expand the functionality of the NAS. Mm -hmm. So on the top, there's a Gen 2 by 1 slot there. Mm -hmm. The button will be the Gen 2 by 2. And I will get to more about it on what kind of uh, expansion cards are available for this device. Okay. okay. And there's a reset button. You can, uh, in case you forget your internet password, okay. uh, you can uh, reset uh, the system information there. Okay. And then uh, there's also, uh, besides the speaker, you know, to tell you about uh, the NAS system events with a voice prompt mm -hmm. in English, mm -hmm. but also uh, you can use the speaker for uh, music playback. Okay. But uh, if you want a better music quality, you can also connect the line out cable, audio cable to your own amplifier to get a, a louder sound. Mm -hmm. okay? And so uh, speak, speaking of the LAN ports, uh, you will see there are two integrated uh, one gigabit uh, mm -hmm. LAN ports there mm -hmm. with RJ45 connectors. And then two of the 10 GBE SAP Plus LAN ports also integrated on the NAS device directly. Okay. So after you buy the NAS, you already have uh, two of the 10 G ports mm -hmm. right, built right away. And then two additional USB 3.0 ports on the button there. And the device comes with a 250 watts of power supply, so it provides enough power to uh, uh, for all the hard drives and the PCI cards, all right? And then besides, also that you get two system fans and the security is up to secure your physical. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then here you will see the uh, the major upgrades from over A31X. Mm -hmm. So here on the A32X, on the right hand side, you will see the PCI slots, okay, from one to two, right? And then uh, with the speaker, mm -hmm. now it's a new addition. Mm -hmm. And then the processor and memory is also upgrade from the A31X. Now you get a 64-bit ARM processor with a DDR4 memory support. Okay. So all, all of this makes the device is a major improvement over the existing A31X. Mm -hmm. Now let's take a look at the 10G ports. So here, uh, this device has uh, two of the 10G BESA Plus ports. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, very useful for you in a business environment to get a high speed uh, performance. Yeah. And then also uh, here you will see it's when you are doing a backup job, it's also very fast 
So together to work with, uh, for example, a 10G switch with SA Plus port, you can just directly connect mm -hmm. uh, your, the NAS to the 10G switch with SA Plus port, mm -hmm. and then to link up to your internal, uh, your existing 10G yeah. network. Okay. Or if you have a server or PC, you can also uh, install a 10G card on your computer with SA Plus support, and you can also do a direct connection with the direct attached cable. Uh, that comes in in length like a one point five meter to all the way to five meters. You can connect them directly and then uh, access the data or even edit the video or the photos directly on the NAS with your computer. Sure. Yeah. Well, speaking of the ten G switch, right? Yeah. Uh, we have just launched our QNAP uh, QNAP ten G switch. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think like last week, mm -hmm. uh, we have the video and the short introduction of the kill switch. So if you are interested in that, uh, remember to subscribe our channel and you can look for kill switch as a keyword and you will see the video. Well, basically, uh, our switch mm -hmm. is a 10G Duo with uh, SFE Plus and RJ45 connector. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, just check on the price on your like Amazon or any other uh, e-shops yeah. e mm -hmm. and you'll find it very compatible yes so uh, after we have checked on the front and the rear panel and each of the functions and the connectors of the NAS well next we was put our focus on the 10G BE connector mm -hmm. the performance test yes so uh, so I switch to the QTS okay. and then let's, uh, we'll do a live demo of our test of performance mm -hmm. alright okay so I, here I have a um, here I have uh, the, uh, sorry, let me close the notification. So here I have a TS831, A32X mm -hmm. with all the uh, SSDs installed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so each one comes with uh, 512 gigabyte of SSDs and then do a red five, all yes. right? So uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, let me uh, minimize it. I'm gonna try to do uh, just direct Windows upload and download to test how fast the 10G is, okay? So first of all, let me try to upload a 10 gigabyte file from my PC. On the mm -hmm. PC, I have a set up as a RAM cache. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just make sure the the drive on the PC is not a bottleneck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna try to upload the 10 gigabyte to the NAS now. Let's see uh, the write speed. Mm -hmm. So you can see that the write speed is about 500 megabyte per second. Okay, so it's uh, quite good for your uh, sorry five times faster yeah. than the typical one gigabyte one gigabit Ethernet speed, sure. right? Yeah. So how about now? Let's try to. Uh, Oh, sorry. I think I need to uh, finish and then I will show you uh, how fast it is to read, to download the 10 gigabyte file from the NAS okay, sure. to the PC. Okay. So it will take about uh, about maybe 20 seconds. So now it's, 500 it, megabytes. it's now from the PC to the NAS. Right now it's from PC to the NAS. So okay. it's uh, upload, upload to the NAS. Okay. And then we are going to try the try from the download. NAS to the. Yeah. So here I'm gonna try uh, to download a 10 gigabyte file from the NAS to the PC. So it's a read speed, okay. right? Okay. So let's try this. It should be faster. Yeah. Let's try this. Oh, sorry. Uh, just before that, let me try to delete the file first. Mm -hmm. All right. Just in case I don't have a uh, any like a uh, reach the capacity. Okay. So I'm trying to uh, right now download. Uh, from the NAS to the PC. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check the download speed. You can it's see. over one gigabit. <laughs> so it's ten times faster than the giga mm -hmm. gigabit performance. Okay, so, so it's like five seconds, and we have done. Yes, downloading the ten GB. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's go back to the uh, PowerPoint. Okay. So with the TS A thirty two X, a very ex exceptional ten GB performance. Mm -hmm. You will see that uh, with the ten G. Uh, one port, two, two port, mm -hmm. you know, from our lab data, mm -hmm. you can easily uh, deploy this ESA32X in many of the uh, environments that require very high bandwidth uh, traffic network. So yes. you can use it and you don't have to worry about the performance that it can bring you. Okay, sure. Okay. So, so speak after the performance, how about mm -hmm. us to take a look at the uh, PCIe yeah, slots? Because yeah. we have two PCIe slots mm -hmm. and uh, some, some of you might think what can I do with the two of the PCI slots? Yes. Because some people might use it to install maybe a graphic cards mm -hmm. to have a HDMI support. Yes. Or some might have a QM2 card mm -hmm. with external uh, M.2 SSD card. Yes. But in the previous version of our NAS, 
most of the models only have one PCI slot. Mm -hmm. So if you choose this, you have to go, you have to give up another. But now we have two slots for you. So uh, the combination will be more flexible. So let's take a look at what we can do on yeah. that. So uh, TSA32X is uh, probably the first arm based NAS in the industry that gives you dual two PCI slots mm -hmm. capability. Mm -hmm. So you can actually uh, expand it uh, very easily. Mm -hmm. So for example, with the first PCI slot, it comes with a Gen 2 by one. So mm -hmm. you can theoretically reach up to uh, 500 megabyte per second, okay. so 5G speed. Mm -hmm. And with that, uh, it's recommended recommend for the gigabit. So you can add additional card that gives you more gigabit ports okay. or with a USB 3.1 card, all right? Okay. And then, or the on the second, the button uh, PCI slot is faster, so it's uh, twice faster, Gen 2 by 2. Mm -hmm. So it's up to a uh, 10 gigabit uh, performance. Okay. okay. So one, one sort of megabyte. Mm -hmm. And then with that, uh, we recommend you, for example, you, if you want the more 10G port, mm -hmm. or if you want the 10G best T port, mm -hmm. you can also install that. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, if you want to use a QN2 card, you can also use that to add the more M.2 SSD ports. Of course. And so let's take a look at start one by one. Uh, first of all, here are all the QNAP accessories that are compatible with the TS-A32X. Mm -hmm. So I'll range you here from the top left, mm -hmm. you have a 10G and 1G uh, cards mm -hmm. okay, to add uh, those uh, additional LAN ports. Mm -hmm. And then on the top right will be the QN2 cards for mm -hmm. you to add the 204 M.2 SSD yeah. to the NAS. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom left, here you will see the QM2 combo version. So mm -hmm. not only you get a two of the M.2 SSD ports, but also you get the one 10 based T on a single single card. Okay. So you just need a one PCI stuff for that. Okay. And then the last one would be to add the USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A on this uh, NAS. Okay. okay. Give you two ports. Okay. So now let's take a look at each PCI slot one by one on the, what we recommend the users to install. So with the top PCI slot, uh, there are three different uh, choices you can deploy. First one is uh, with a, for, so for example, you got, you may have a, uh, to work fast with a very fast mm -hmm. external device. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, some vendors such as SanDisk, they have come out with an external uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2 10 GB per second uh, SSD, it's a portable SSD mm -hmm. with a Type C connector. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, you can just use a Type C to Type A cable and then use this car on the NAS. Then you can easily do a very, very fast. I think over, you can easily get over 500 megabyte per second okay. transfer speed with the uh, external SSD. Okay. okay. And also the Type A is uh, backward compatible with the existing uh, USB 3.0 and 2.0, the Type A devices, such okay. as many USB printers, UPS and external drives. Okay. And if you are not satisfied with the two uh, gigabit LAN ports, mm -hmm. you, know, you can also add this uh, additional two port gigabit LAN card from QNAP. Okay. So the model name is there. Okay. And with that, you can have uh, four multiple then port, gigabit LAN ports, so you can deploy in multiple subnets yes. or sub subnetworks, or you can uh, do a port trunk and do bunk them together to get a better performance. Mm -hmm. right. So the last group will be the single port 10 g based T card. Mm -hmm. So with that, uh, Juniper has uh, the QXG 10 g one t which is a faster version with a Gen 3 by 4 mm -hmm. and then also the LAN 10 g one ta with a Gen 2 by 4 mm -hmm. okay. So with that, uh, I uh, suppose uh, not just 10, giga, 10 gigabit, right? But also it's a, it is uh, compliant with a multi gigabit LAN port, yes. uh, LAN uh, specification. So it can also run at a 5G and 2.5G mm -hmm. if you have uh, uh, those devices in the future. You know, there are, uh, if you look at the uh, news uh, this year, there mm -hmm. are more, more and more, uh, not just switches, but uh, routers and yes. access point. Uh, even the, those, uh, Gaming, gaming uh, notebooks mm -hmm. and also gaming motherboards, they come with those uh, 5G or 10G speed building. So you can easily work with the NAS uh, on those devices. Of course. Okay. So on the second slot with uh, twice the speed, mm -hmm. Gen 2 by 2, mm -hmm. then we recommend the users to try out our QN2 cards mm -hmm. besides the single port 10G based T. So with QN2 cards, again, there are several models you can uh, select. Mm -hmm. The first one will be the M.2 only. Okay, mm -hmm. so with M.2 SSD only, you get a 
uh, you can choose uh, the 2S, which is the two of the M.2 SATA, mm -hmm. and our four, the upcoming 4S, so for the M.2 SATA. So mm -hmm. it can also uh, be installed on the NAS. Mm -hmm. And then the middle one will be the one just mentioned, the 10 g base. So you can fully utilize the 10G speed if you install this uh, 10G card on the second slot. Okay. Okay. And the third one will, will be the QN2 10G M.2 combo. So with that, uh, you can install not just it requires just one PCI slot uh, uh, space, mm -hmm. but uh, it gives you two of the M.2 SSD, and but also one of the 10 GPS depot, two in one. Yeah. Okay. So speaking of the QN2 cards, here just uh, more information and then on what you can do with them. So with these QN2 cards, you can create the RAID 0, RAID 1, uh, SD cache or Q tier mm -hmm. with a two port version. Mm -hmm. But if you choose the upcoming four port, the quad, quad port version, mm -hmm. then you can create even beta RAID 5, RAID 6, RAID 10. So you know, for speed or yeah. for extra protection with those uh, four SSDs. Okay, so again, just it will just need uh, to occupy one of the PCI star on the A32X. All right. And we can do so much more. Yes. So the best scenario to deploy this is that uh, you can reserve the whole eight base, mm -hmm. eight of the uh, drive base for your large capacity hard drives, three point inch mm -hmm. hard drives. So you can store a lot of data with those eight drives. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then with the PCI star, you can just install QN2 card and then together with the M.2 SSC to really speed up the data access performance. Okay. So, and then just uh, enable our QT support. So with that, you can, uh, you can accelerate the uh, sequential random read and write performance with the hard drives plus the M.2 SSC in QT. Sure. All right. So again, this is just another scenario on what you can do with QT for performance enhancement. So, for example, uh, when you purchase the A32X, you may not uh, have uh, all the eight hard drives populated. Mm -hmm. you, know, you may begin with the three or four hard drives, right? But you will be limited by just a few hard drives because uh, of the performance. Mm -hmm. You know, you do a RAID 5, so the speed will, be, will just, just be the three or four drives, mm -hmm. right? So how can you enhance the performance? Because, uh, okay, you may not... Uh, need to, you may not have so many data to purchase, you know, to install eight hard drives, but as you grow, you may have uh, more and more clients, they will concurrently access the NAS. Yes. And then you need, over the time, you need more performance. Mm. What can you do? So very simple. You can stick with the same uh, three or four hard drives, but you just need to get the QN2 card and the end of SSDs after you install it. Then with our storage manager, you can easily upgrade your existing storage pool to a QT supported tool, a pool with SSDs. So it's very easy to uh, keep your data and then upgrade your NAS performance with a QN2 card and SSD and also QT. Very, very easy. So be sure to give it a try later. Okay, so we've been talking about QT, but what is QT? Well, basically, if you have been looking at our video, I think you understand what is QT here. But if you uh, not know a hundred percent about that, uh, subscribe our video, uh, our channel, and search for QT here in our channel, and you will see the complete information for the QT introduction. So uh, we will just let you know that the QT here is a function that will um, uh, that will automatically to line up the data that you almost uh, you often use and we put it as a hard data. So uh, the SSD will store the hard data inside there and then when you are going to read or save, the speed will be faster. And uh, for some data that you don't use that much, we will uh, call it cold data and put it inside of your 3.5 inch hard disk. So uh, you can still call it back, but uh, the efficient will not be as good as we put the hard data inside of the SSD, so that's all. And after we have talked about what kind of expansion card that we can use with this NAS and what is QT here, and what is the combination you can do. So now I think it's time for us to take a look at this machine and uh, we, uh, we have just talked about that you can upgrade the RAM by yourself very easily, so we will show you how to upgrade it. And then the second thing is we will show you how to install your own QM2 card or your own uh, USB card, mm -hmm. any other of the expansion cards from QNAP. Then we will show you the performance after you have 
upgrade your system into the Q tier. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the other like, uh, camera. Like here, yeah. yeah. So here I have a uh, prepare a uh, TS A thirty two X here uh, on the table. Mm -hmm. So you will see the front and side. Uh, yeah, okay. Right so here. here you will see the is a TS A thirty one X here. Okay, and then on the back here, mm -hmm. uh, also you'll see the uh, dual PCI slots mm -hmm. plus the uh, gigabit and the ten G LAN ports. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to uh, upgrade the memory, I got a memory here. It's very easy. So just uh, remove the screws on the back. Yeah. Okay, and you can lift up the cover. Easy. Okay. So once you lift up the cover, uh, you will have access to the internal motherboard of the TS A thirty two X. Sure. So here uh, you will see the uh, memory slot there. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy just to uh, replace your own memory and you know upgrade to maximum another 16 gigabyte. Yeah, okay. And that's all. Yeah. And then with the PCI okay. slots here, you will see the, uh, there are two PCI slots here. Mm -hmm. Okay, one is a Gen 2, one is a Gen, Gen 2 one. by one, one is Gen 2 by okay. two. Okay. So to install a uh, card such as uh, the QN2 4S mm -hmm. card, or the, the gigabit then uh, sorry the tenji best mm -hmm. card also, also the gigabit then card it's very easy to uh, install this card first of all you need to uh, remove this uh, power supply just set it aside so how can you uh, remove it right uh, there are two two screws here mm -hmm. okay remove these two screws and then okay you don't need to work with the worry about the cable just leave it there okay after you remove these two screws okay on the back uh, there are also a few screws that hold in the uh, uh -huh. power supply unit in place. So just also remove them. After that, you can move this uh, power supply aside, oh, uh -huh. and then you can access to the brackets of the uh -huh. PCIe slots. And then uh, after you remove the bracket, you will be able to install the uh, various expansion cards onto sure. this device. All right. Okay. So after we have changed the uh, okay, no, not change. We have add another. A QM2 card, then we have set up the Q tier. Yeah. So uh, let's get into the demo uh, and QT, we will, yes, UI. Yeah, we will see how how fast after we change the Q tier. Okay, so here I have set up an Aja mm -hmm. uh, system test tool. So I'm gonna hit the start first, all right? And then I'll explain uh, why it's running. I'm gonna explain how this TS832X is uh, set up. Okay, this is another a second TS A thirty two X. So here I have uh, just installed three hard drives, right? In mm -hmm. Ray Five, just three hard drives in Ray Five. Mm -hmm. And then with I have installed a QN two four S the card. Yes. So I have installed four of the M two SATA mm -hmm. SSDs in mm -hmm. Ray Five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after this is been set up, you know, so with a QT uh, set up, so now all the data will be as transfer will, will be accelerated with our our QNAB QT. Okay. okay. So here I just show you when with just three hard drives, you see, you get the, the right performance of uh, over 500 oh, megabytes per second. And uh, with the read, you know, it's 800 oh, megabytes. Yeah, about, almost uh, 900. Yes. Right? Yeah. So that is how, uh, that is the benefit that after you change your uh, NAS into an auto tiering Q tier function. Mm -hmm. So uh, we see that uh, no matter it's the writing or the reading, the mm -hmm. speed is much more faster. So yeah. let's go back to the slides. So here, just at the side, gives you a summary of uh, what kind of scenario you can use uh, mm -hmm. with those uh, QTR and uh, M.2. So here, uh, you will see that uh, uh, for the additional uh, five other five asset hard drive, you can use it as a different storage pool and then use it for, for example, for surveillance recording, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, for cameras and other stuff. But the, with this, uh, the particular one in the middle, you can just use uh, three of the hard drives in Ray 5 mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about the slow hard drive speed. You know, just install QN2 card mm -hmm. and then install the SSDs and then you can use QT to get very, very good performance okay. on the top right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. okay, so the next topic is, well, basically, uh, we have uh, two structures of our NAS mm -hmm. and uh, for this year we have been launching the new QTS version that for this uh, this structure is called ARM structure, um, right? Yeah. ARM mm -hmm. structure of the NAS can also not support the snapshot mm -hmm. and why is snapshot so important? Please check on our other video in our channel. So uh, if you want more, uh, remember to subscribe our channel mm -hmm. and the key in snapshot inside of our uh fan page or yes. youtube channel mm -hmm. so uh for now uh as we can see that two gigabytes support 64 for snapshot mm -hmm. and eight gigabytes support 256 yes. which means if we take two snapshots each day mm -hmm. 
this April to X, the the like the standard type. Yeah, can, several weeks. Yeah, can already support you to have the snapshot for one month. Mm -hmm. So this is very important. Yes. I think all the enterprise and all the SMB needs that. Mm -hmm. So check on that for more information. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, also another good uh, feature that the TS I32X has is because you know this one is an eight bay device, uh -huh. so you may not uh, have uh, you may not use at this time you may not use you may not need to use all the space you provide mm -hmm. right if you install eight hard drives. Yeah. But the good thing is that uh, with QNAP virtual JBot technology, if you have uh, another QNAP NAS, you know you want to expand that NAS, actually you can use a VJ bot mm -hmm. and then to allocate. Those are unused space on the A32X mm -hmm. and then remotely being mounted by the other QNET NAS on the same network with the uh, uh, virtual J bar, which is through the, the iSCSI technology. Okay. So yeah. with that, you can ex expand the NAS and then self share folders. Yeah. So we can uh, maximize the storage capacity to each of the NAS you have. So that is another way to provide you a cost down solution while you are looking for a uh, useful storage capacity. Mm -hmm. And VJBot is QNAP exclusive. So uh, if you want to know more about VJBot, please also check out our other videos. Yeah. So let's take on the other side. Okay. So here, uh, how can you expand the capacity of the NAS itself? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, the easiest way here is you can replace the hard drives internally one by one. Mm -hmm. So for example, you start with one terabyte drives mm -hmm. and then you can use a wizard to do an online migration mm -hmm. to, uh, from one terabyte each drive to mm -hmm. uh, four terabyte each mm -hmm. drive. Mm -hmm. Okay. It can be easily done. It takes yeah. some time. And then the second way is that you can purchase the QNAP as uh, eight bay and the five bay expansion units mm -hmm. to expand the capacity. Yeah. So. A32X supports up to two of the expansion units. Yes. So up to, uh, for example, if you get an eight bay version, total will be what twenty four drives yeah. altogether. Yeah. Exactly. So you get those yeah. capacity. Yeah. Okay. So uh, speaking of the big capacity, you know, you won't forget about the cameras, right? Because the IP camera that takes the pressure with the H.264 and two C T four and two C yeah, and then with a high resolution, it needs more capacity to store the recorded of footage. Course. So with the uh, QVR Pro surveillance solution, uh, it's a uh, newly released uh, software mm -hmm. uh, from QNAP mm -hmm. a few months ago, and then also compared up with many, many of the industry leading uh, camera vendors for IP cameras. And uh, when you buy the NAS, mm -hmm. you already get eight free IP camera channels. Yeah. So it's already plenty for start your own surveillance projects, yeah, right? Yeah, for your homes or offices. Mm -hmm. And you can, right now through our license center, you can also expand up to a maximum uh, currently 16, 16. Uh, but more will be supported later. Okay. Right? And uh, also uh, for webcam is also uh, support uh, the recordings. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can, if you have unused uh, webcams, you can also uh, plug into a USB port on the NAS and then set up the recordings. Okay. Cool. Right. Mm -hmm. So next slide is my, per uh, personally my favorite because we, Come to the end, we have to compare our NAS with the Synology GTS 1817. Mm -hmm. So let's check on the processor. Okay, we are using the Cortex A57. 64 bit. Yeah. But, the faster. Yeah, yeah. but they are using the 32 bit, which is the previous version, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the memory, we support 16 gigabyte DDR4. Uh, DDR4, but they have 8 gigabyte DDR3. Mm -hmm. And we have PCIe slots for two, yeah. which brings you more flexibility when you want to combine any other expansion parts, but they got none. And then let's check on the other. Okay, we have one more USB 3.0 port. Mm -hmm. When okay. will we find the one more extra port important? We don't know, but <laughs> one day when you need it, you will know. Yeah. And of course, the audio output, we have some uh, add-ons, but uh, 18, 17 does have nothing. Mm -hmm. So that is the comparison. So if you are looking for an A-Bay NAS, or you are looking for some uh, or if you are just looking at DS1817, uh, if you happen to see this video, uh, you can just reconsider about your choice and you will see why we are providing you this comp competitive product because we always listen to our customers' voice and we will improve our products to fit the market more proper than before. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, uh, this is the topic we bring you today, TSA32X. Mm -hmm. 
please remember that we have two PCI slots and we have a better CPU and a better DDR4 DDR yes. in the RAM and uh, 10 uh, GB integrated dual, port. dual port. That is very important. So this is a very beautiful one. So let's go back to our life. Yeah. So this is uh, the above are what we trying to uh, what we are going to bring you the TSA three two X. It's not been released yet, but I believe you can find the information from your reseller or from your distributor in maybe the in middle the, of April or the, probably late April to early May. Yeah, late April to early May. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want more information, subscribe our channel and we will bring you more more things about hardware, software, and how to use our app, and more unboxing of our NAS. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is today, and thank you again, Jason, yeah, for coming and tell us so many uh, <laughs> clear and uh, clear information about our new NAS. So we will bring more NAS, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Okay, so see you next time on QNAP Live Broadcast. Bye-bye.